Hello everyone, I am Pratik Kumar. So in this video, let's understand the application of principle of conservation of uh, linear momentum, which we saw in our last video, in the rocket propulsion. Well, we all must have heard of this term umpteen number of times, rocket science, rocket science. Well, yes, now let's understand rocket science. It's nothing but the application of principle of conservation of linear momentum. So uh, let's say uh, we have this rocket over here. And uh, let's say the initial mass of the rocket is uh, m naught, right? And uh, obviously fuel is filled over here, and uh, the fuel gets ignited after ignition. The gases come out, and because of which the rocket moves up. So let's say the gases come out of the rocket at the rate of r, which is dm by dt. So mass comes out of the rack of the rocket at the rate of dm by dt and uh, and uh, let's say we are observing this rocket from the ground and let's assume the rocket these ejected masses and the ground as our system right and uh, let's fix the coordinate system also so our uh, uh, x axis i cap will be along this direction and j cap will be in the vertically upward direction so at any time t is equal to small t the mass of the rocket will be given by the mass of the rocket will be given by m0 minus r times t and let's assume the velocity of the rocket is v so at any time t the momentum of the rocket is given by mass times velocity so at uh, time uh, t uh, small t the initial momentum of the rocket system is capital m times v now let's say after a time interval of delta t uh, delta m amount of gases get ejected from the rocket and let's say these gases get ejected from the rocket uh, in the downward direction at a velocity of u with respect to the rocket so after the time interval delta t the remaining mass of the rocket is given by capital m minus delta small m and let's say uh, in this process the velocity of the rocket increases by delta v so the initial velocity was v now let's say the velocity of the rocket increases by delta v right so after time delta t the momentum of the remaining mass of the rocket is given by capital m minus delta small m times v plus uh, delta v and after time delta t the momentum of the masses which get ejected or the gases which get ejected uh, from the rocket will be given by what the m which is the mass of the gases which get ejected times the velocity of the gases with respect to the ground the reason we want to uh, we are writing velocity of the gases with respect to ground is because we are observing the motion of the rocket with respect to the ground now the velocity of the gases with respect to the ground will be given by what will be given by velocity of the gases with respect to the rocket plus velocity of a rocket with respect to the ground well this we discussed in our video on relative velocity so if you have some doubt in it please refer that video so now velocity of gases with respect to rocket is what so the gases get ejected from the rocket uh, in the vertically downward direction at a velocity of u so it will be u minus j cap and the velocity of the rocket with respect to ground is what rocket is moving up at a velocity of uh, v so it will be given by v j cap so the velocity of gas with respect to ground is v minus u j cap so the momentum of the gases which get ejected from the rocket will be given by will be given by delta m times v minus u so at time t plus delta t the momentum of the remaining mass of the rocket uh, will be given by this term and the momentum of the gases will be given by this term and uh, and as we can see no external force acts on the system our system comprises of as, a, as we discussed earlier the rocket the gas and the ground so uh, you, you may wonder that weight of the rocket uh, will be an external force but no since we have taken the ground as a part of the system the weight of the rocket and this ejected mass that becomes an internal force right so on this system uh, no external force acts hence uh, the total linear momentum of the system will remain conserved so the linear momentum of the system at time t was what mv and at time t plus delta t is what is this whole term right so since the linear momentum will remain conserved so we can write we can write uh, this whole term is equal to m v 
right? Uh, so if we simplify, simplify this equation, we get delta V is equal to delta M times U divided by capital M minus delta M. And if we take delta M out, then uh, we get this equation, this term rather. And here we replace delta M by R delta T. So R is the R is the rate at which the gases get uh, ga gases get burned. So in time interval delta T, the mass of the gases which get burned will be R times delta T, right? Now, now if we divide uh, uh, these two terms by delta T, so let me remove this term because we will consider this term and this term only. And if we take limit of delta T tends to zero, here also limit delta T tends to zero, then essentially this term becomes dV by dt and this term uh, will take what form? So this uh, limit delta t tends to 0. So this term will become uh, dm by dt which will be r r times u divided by if delta t uh, becomes 0 then this term will vanish and we will be left only with m and capital M is m0 minus rt. So we will have m0 minus rt. Uh, so dv by dt is what? It is the acceleration of the rocket and it is given by ru divided by m0 minus rt where r is the rate at which the gases get burned and u is the velocity of the gases uh, with respect to the rocket. Now if we try to solve this differential equation further then uh, if we move this dt let's say this side then we get dv is equal to ru dt divided by m0 minus rt and let's say if we integrate this and let's say the velocity value ranges from 0 to capital V and time 0 to small t then we get uh, velocity is equal to the velocity of the rocket at any time t is equal to u times natural log of m0 divided by m0 minus rt. So this is the velocity of the rocket at any time t right so here we have assumed that the rate at which the gases get burned which is r and the velocity of the gases with respect to the rocket uh, remains constant throughout the motion of the rocket right so, uh, so if you have understood uh, the application of uh, conservation of linear momentum principle in this rocket propulsion uh, case then trust me uh, you can solve most of the you know difficult problems uh, involving linear conserva uh, conservation of linear momentum quite easily right so so yeah that's it in this video thanks for watching this video so if you have liked this video then please do subscribe to my channel in the next video i will come up with another interesting uh, concept so thank you